Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Enchanted Cave. Uh, for those of you guys who have tuned in and watched it on Feature Friday, uh, I want to actually play this game for a little bit more uh, until we get uh, all the way to the end here. So I am watching Enchanted Dagger. If you found one, come back and I'll give you plenty of gold for it. Well, have I got a dagger for you, baby. That's a nice fire dagger. There we go. Here you go. So I'm going to go into my little museum. Ooh, you've been in the Kiss Cave yet? I'm having secondary thoughts on it. Okay, second thoughts. So I have, I have a, let me take this out of the museum here. I'm just going to use the fire, uh, fire dagger here. And there we go. I'm going to keep it in my inventory. Equip it. So I have all this gear now from last time. Uh, so we're going to start with all this gear, which is going to be excellent. And we'll start with some pants. Don't worry. The next one's going to be my best one yet. And let's get inside. So I can choose to start from floor 0 all the way to 20. And if I really want to grind, I'm going to start from floor 0. So I'm going to go to floor 0. And I'm going to do a little jump cut until we get to floor 20 all over again. Let's go. All right, guys. So I'm back at floor 18 right now. And I think I've discovered the multi-gem. Oh, so this one lets you pick which one you want to go for. So I'm just going to go for attack, I guess. Not really the greatest thing here. But look at this. I take no damage from these guys here. And you see this goblin chief in here? He only deals 11 damage to me, so I am super tanky now. I've just been fighting literally every single mob I've encountered along the way. Uh, so I've just been just farming lots and lots of EXP right now. And we're almost going to get back to 420. Uh, and so, yeah, I've barely taken any damage, as you can see here. Yeah, these, like, none of the enemies actually hurt me here. And I'm going to nab a little thing over here. Oh, faintly glowing mushroom. Nice. And let's grab this little box over here. Jack gets the jungle sandals over here. Get into the next floor. Oh, I think the angry frogs might actually be able to hurt me, though. Oh, yeah, the angry frogs can hurt me. Ooh, not the angry frogs. Okay, ring of riches. Ooh, I could probably equip that right now. Because uh, that'll let me find more gold on the way. Hmm. Hmm. Right? It's got plus 10% right now, but it doesn't give me anything else. Uh, and it's, like, considered in the enchantment slot. So, oh, wait. Did I swap it out? Oh, shoot. There we go. I want to keep this here. Because uh, I want the tankiness... Um, the little 10% gold increase isn't really going to matter until you get, like, real deep into the dungeon, I think. Uh, and there we go. Ooh, shiny steel gauntlets, just like the ones I already have. So, <laughs> we found some nice little artifacts. Maybe I keep that in the museum. Uh, ooh, steel kite shield, magic pickaxe. I'll use the magic pickaxe uh, in the future to show you guys uh, what you can do with that. Uh, we've got some chainmail gauntlets. Are those better? 3% uh, chance to dodge. Compare. Let's look at this. Uh, I mean, the steel gauntlets are quite are quite heavy, though. Let's see. I want to farm up all of these guys here real quick. There we go. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. There we go. Chop, chop. And they're out. You got some viscous goop here. Chop, chop. I need to get more damage, though. I don't really deal a lot of damage right now. I'm quite tanky, but I take no damage, I guess. So that's at least good. Uh, but it also takes me forever to kill something. Okay, there we go. One shot that. Yeah, like the units here get have so much armor. I have 11 damage over here. I think, like, later levels, you get, like, some absolute monstrosities that just have, like, 300 attack damage or something. I think you get, like, face some demons at the, at, in, the hell, in the hell floors. And honestly, they're so tough. Like, these little monsters here don't even compare once you get there. Uh, let's see. Goblin Chieftain here it does 7 damage to me. Oh, my God. That's, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. Okay. Hopefully, I can get a Bronze Defender to keep because uh, that'll be really useful. And we are at the store right now. Let's go to the shop over here. And I'm probably just going to quick sell all my junk. Let's see. What does that include? Uh, Ring of Riches. Yeah, I'm just going to sell that here. So I'm going to buy all the health pots. All the magic pots. I'm going to buy a magic pickaxe here. Because that will let me bypass uh, certain walls that I don't want to go into. And let's see. Ancient Bronze Helmet. Probably don't need that. And I want to get some crafting ingredients over here though. Chunk of Amber, Faintly Glowing Foxfire. I'm going to get that because I could piece some mana back. And let's just go over here to the little forge here. I'm actually curious what I can um, do to this stuff here. So I'm going to see if I can enchant this with um, Visk Scoop. Because this gives me... I can get health regen on these? Oh, that's very good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put health regen on this. There we go. So what that does is that after every fight, I'm going to gain three health back. Um, and that'll give me some nice sustain. So you know what? I'll give some health. I'm going to put some health regen on this stuff too. There we go. Health regen. There we go. Six health regen should be very useful uh, in the meantime. And I should probably also brew some potions here. There we go. We're going to get that. And we can get some... Hmm, what do I want? Defense potions maybe? Like, this will give me some mana back. 
I need something else that gives me mana back. Because the thing is, like, I don't want to commit too hard to make... Ah, you know what? I'll just make armor. Armor mana potions, I guess. Um, let's see. But that means I have to drink... I can... Actually, I can drink these ones. What am I saying? So I can drink these ones over here. And let's have a look over here. I also want to enchant my helmet. Because I think I'll be keeping my helmet for a little bit. So I'm going to put some health regen on my helmet as well. And there we go. So I have 9 health regen. So basically after a fight, I will gain 9 health back. So I'll essentially heal uh, for free. Uh, and that'll give me some good sustain here. I'm going to try and hotkey some of these items. This is my little mana armor potion, I guess. And let's talk to the shopkeeper. Let's see. Uh, no way. Well, that's good. You will make it further than I will. Okay, there we go. Oh, that, was, that was the spider shopkeeper. Uh, Alright, here we go. Oh, no, but I don't, think I, I don't think I have free fights here anymore. Like, all these guys deal a lot of damage. Uh, look at that. 9 health regen. There we go. So that at least minimizes how much damage we uh, take over time. Uh, let's see, acidic plant here. Oh my god, I think does a lot of damage. Tattered cloak. Uh, I know these slimes are free health. Yeah, there we go. Free health fights. There we go. Let's fight that slime over here. Get some more free health back. Got some more viscous scoop. Kill that flower. So this is totally uncharted territory now. Uh, just got a little dodge here. But we're gonna start taking some serious... The most serious damage we've taken this entire run, essentially. Uh, but there's so much stuff back there. I wanna, I wanna explore it. I wanna explore it. So I'm, I think I'm gonna push ahead here. I wanna see what's down here. I mean, we got, we got these guys are all free fights, like the cave scorpions, the slimes. They all, they all do no damage to me. Uh, so I'm just getting free health back. We got a bronze defender here. The frogs still hit pretty hard though, and so do the plants. So I'm gonna avoid them if I can. If I can't, then I'll just have to push through and farm up all these other guys here to heal. Look at that, free healing. There we go. Free gold. There we go, boom, 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 boom. All right, and there we go. We're just gonna auto path all the way back to our little exit point here. And let's get out of here. Um, there we go. Yes. All right, what's up over here? We'll take the frog fight here, I guess. Oh, I dodged the frog. That's pretty good, because I mean, I got some free healing here. Uh, okay, frog hit me. Uh-oh, hit that. There we go. Ooh, there's a chest over there. A lot of cave scorpions. But uh, that means that's a lot of free health for me to get back. Chop, chop. Crap. Alright, guys, I'm at floor 24 and I've encountered a new mob. A jungle snake. Can I take it? Oh, that's actually not too bad. I mean, it's still hitting me for quite a little bit of damage here, but I'm just gonna keep going down in here. Let's see. Oh my god, what the heck is this map? Uh, so I actually leveled up on the way here, but I, as you can see here, the health regen has been working out really nicely for me. I'm basically topped up here. Uh, like, I take like almost no damage every fight, uh, and I'm still healing a little bit. Like These guys heal me for free. I uh, probably don't want that here. Um, the plants are this way, so I can fight a snake over here, but I also want to see what's over there. But I basically haven't gone under 600 health so far uh, with the, the new health regen on my equipment, uh, which is really nice. Oh, it looks like there's a, there's a, secret, there's a secret passageway here. All right, let's go. We gotta unlock it here. And, ooh, every time there's a secret passageway, there's always gonna be some nice items. Ooh, we got it. What is that that we just got? Silver Cutlass. Oh my god, I'll take that. I mean, I'm gonna be a little bit more vulnerable here. I don't have as much armor uh, off the broadsword. So these guys might actually be able to hit me now. Uh, yeah, they'll hit me for a little bit more. There we go, but it applies a bleed, which is not quite nice. Um, let's just still kill this guy here, but most of the guys here are still free fights here. Uh, so I'm just gonna come back over here. I should probably read the lore here. There's probably some more stuff, information here. Let's see. Day 60! Oh my god. Over a month since my last entry, I've been very busy. The energy from the farmer's soul has proven more powerful than I had imagined. I can shift the walls of the cave, create gold and silver tools and weapons from rock and dust, and use the corpses of existing creatures to conjure new ones loyal to me. I must get more somehow. So is this a- oh, so this is like the explanation of why the caves keep changing every time, and how there's always more and more monsters that keep spawning and respawning. Oh no! This is the spider that they warned us about. The boss warned us about. It's a boss! Alright, well, let's drink our little armor potion here, and let's go! Ooh, that boss hits hard. Good thing I hit harder. And I'm pretty tanky. I got a large health potion. That restores a lot of health. Oh my god. Look at all the cool stuff we just got here. Uh, I'm gonna get some attack upgrades here. What's inside? Fractal Cabbage. Mana regen. That's pretty good. I can get mana regen on one of my items, actually. Uh, I should probably enchant my items to get to give mana back, because that'll be really important. Uh, mana seems to be so important. I should probably get Chainmail Shouses. They have 4% dodge. 
Mm, comparing it to the Mage Skirt, it does have more armor. Um, I think I might want to get rid of the Mage Skirt here. Like, keep the Chainmail Shasas here, and um, get some health regen on it, I think. This thing has dodge and bleed. You know what? I'm going to equip it um, once I get to the Shopkeep. There we go. I need to get to floor 30 to get to the Shopkeep, though. And oh my god, is that a Dragonfly? Man, I think it's hard. Um, I think I'm going to be out of free fights soon. Let's see. Ooh, that was rough. I'm taking some damage here. Um, well, at least we got a big health potion. We got a big boy potion now. No more small boy potions here. And let's just let's just chop our way through all these levels here. What's down here? What's in here? Night gauntlets. Is that better than what I'm wearing right now? Uh, not not really, not really. Like base stat wise, yes, but in actuality, not really. All right. All right. Let's test out our boots. Our anti turtle boots here. Oh my god! Anti turtle boots are super effective. The turtle does three damage to me. That's over. Turtles are free. They're free health now. Oh no! What are those things? What are those things? Oh no, those are, those hit really hard. But you know what? At least turtles give me health back now. Um, like I take four damage and I get uh, four health back. So anti-turtle boots are very effective. Um, so I'm just gonna avoid those stone giants for now. I think they have a very big health pool, so I don't want to mess with them. Gonna have to fight these spirits here though. Oh, 25. Yeah, let's just go down to the floor down here and. Turtles, I cannot believe it, have now suddenly become free HP. Never thought I'd say this. There we go, get the small health pot over here. Give me some more free HP, just top up real nice here. Turtle shells, uh, oh geez, not there. Not there, um, let's see. Oh god, but these spiders are all over the place. Alright, oh my god, the blood spiders hurt. Probably don't want to fight them. Um, uh, I'm gonna go for a health potion here, drink the health potion. And I'm gonna drink this crafted potion over here. Oh, I'm out of those. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got a glass shield. Will you look at that? What does it do? It gives me wind protection. Huh. Hmm, it's not too bad. Um, and the exit's right here, so I'm just gonna have to chop my way through these spirits here, I guess. Uh, get a magic potion over here. I got a large magic potion. There we go. Let's get, get down into the fort here. Oh, turtles! Am I glad to see you? Give me that. Give me that free health. And I leveled up. All right, let's go for the skills here. Oh my god, I'm so close to the revealer here. Revealer spell is going to be very useful in the future. Chop, chop. Cut my way through here. Get some more viscous goop. Oh well, I have to fight this giant. Let's see how tanky you are. Oh my god, he actually doesn't hurt too much. Um, I thought he would hurt more. And he dropped the hat. I need to see what hat he dropped. Let me see. What hat did he drop? A flint helmet. Nice. Oh, we just shaved it off of his head. So I'm gonna build, I'm gonna get some armor here. The turtles are only hitting me for their earth damage, I think. Um, yeah, they're only hitting me for the earth damage. I'm only taking elemental damage at this point. Um, it's still significant chip damage over a bunch of fights though, so still kind of inconvenient there. Uh, do I have anything else here? I have a crafted potion here. Ah, I have this one. Okay, give me this one. This one gives me some health regen. There we go. Just regenerate some health. Oh my god, this thing hits me like a truck though. Void weed, dark attack, dark defense. Oh, that's very useful. I love me some void weed. It's the it's the illegal weeds, the illegal substances. And so let's go. Night chausses, chausses, chausser, chausser. Uh, ooh, we gotta fight our way through these giants here. Oh, they hurt. Oh, they hurt. Ooh, well, give me some armor here. I'm gonna drink one of these. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself up here. There we go. Boom. Okay, now they don't hurt as much, but they still kind of hurt. Flint helmet over here. Kill this turtle. There we go. So I'm probably gonna try and get to level 40, and that'll probably be it, maybe, for this episode. We'll see. I feel like there's definitely a hidden room back here. There we go. Let's, let's have a look here. No, there's no hidden room. Oh no, the hidden room's staring me right in the face. It's right here. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. Let's check this hidden room out. Wait. Oh wait, there's troll poop. HP. Oh my god, that heals for a lot. Uh, no. What's happening over here? What's this guy doing? Oh. Hell, I wasn't expecting to see someone else here. I am researching this cape and would love to bring out some samples to study, but haven't found any wings. Would you be willing to part with yours? Uh, awesome. 
There we go. I just gave him my wings, but uh, I think I should be able to find wings in the next round. It's a little bit risky. Voltage. Wow, that looks like a great sword. I'm going to equip it here. It's better than the Chris Blade. Uh, Voltage is a flawless blade. It gives me some elemental damage here, too. Oh my god, okay. Let's get down here. I should be fine, I think. Honestly, I'm going to get some health here. Get some defenses here. There's so many gems here. Um, there's a potion here. I'm going to fight this guy rather than the spider. The spider's just going to beat me up. And I'm doing I'm doing big daddy damage here. I'm doing big boy damage here. I can actually just leave here. Let's kill this one spider here. Ooh. We got some more void weed. I got some thick hide gloves. What's that those give us? Uh, ooh, so it's giving us ice equipment, which tells me that the next uh, dimension or next biome or next level of the cave is just going to be ice. Um, which is, I guess, useful. At least they're prepping you ahead of time. Uh, oh my god, I'm hitting the trolls for a hundred something. Let's just chop up the spiders here. If I dodge the spiders, that'll be really nice because they don't actually get too much chance to hit me. They're like pretty squishy. Uh, oh my god. But it, when they do hit me, though, I, like, take so much damage. Jesus. Like, is it because, like, it's elemental damage? I don't even know. Uh, is it worth going this way? Probably not. Let's go to floor 40, sell some of our junk, make some profit, and let's have a look at the shopkeeper. Hey, you're a new face. Hope you're staying safe. Uh, let's talk. Names, uh, Sokaru. I used to explore this cave like yourself, but quit after a close call. The cat's patches. Seems like it here. Plenty of mice, you know. The end of the cave? I don't think you'll make it. No one has. Good luck to you anyways. Alright, so I think this is a great place to end off this uh, today's episode. Uh, if you guys haven't been enjoying it so far, be sure to leave a like and share this episode with a friend. Uh, this little cute little cat here. And until next time, I will see you guys later.